In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to put a, a background image, a photograph, so that when you render this scene uh, the cube will be in the foreground and there'll be a photograph in the background. Okay, before I put the photograph in the background I am going to add a material and a texture to the cube because there's some things I want to go over first. So I'm clicking the material button. Uh, this line I'm going to refer to a couple of times. It gives the context of uh, what we're doing and we've, we're setting up a, a material for the cube. So if I click the plus uh, and I give a meaningful name to the material, so I'll call this Matte Cube. Uh, and there we've got the cube and there is the material linked to it. Okay, then I click the texture button and again I click plus and I name the texture. You don't have to name the texture, but you don't have to name anything, but it does help. Uh, so I call this texture cube and again it's in the breadcrumb trail here the linkage of those uh, materials and texture and if I render the scene if I click the render button and uh, do the image render there is the cube with the material and the texture added When you click uh, the render image button, it automatically takes you into the UV image editor window. So I'm clicking here to go back to 3D view. Now I want to put the background, uh, the photograph in the background. And to do that, I'm going to click the world button. Okay, now um, you can have multiple world settings. So Again, perhaps if I put a meaningful name, WLD uh, IMG BKG World Image Background. And now I click the materials button. Now, if you think of the world as a special type of material, if I click the texture button, I am now linking. Uh, to the world image background but that is like the material and this is the texture linked to that material so I click the plus button and this displays the texture in a preview window if I click both that at the moment if I rendered now would be the gray background that I would get how do I get a photograph in the background well the first thing I need to do is to change the type of texture from clouds to an image or movie. Now when I select that I get an extra panel that allows me to open an image. So I find an image and there's my texture which is a bitmap which is a photo but still it won't render. This is what the world background looks like and it's a gray square at the moment so how do I get the picture in in that side uh, it's in the influence panel simply if you tick horizon which affects the color of the horizon but as soon as you click that the image is used as the background and to demonstrate that I'll just click render and there's our cube with the photograph in the background. We've got our background image uh, but we're very zoomed into the central part of the image. How do we zoom out? Basically by messing about with settings. So one of the settings I will alter is the render settings. I'll change um, it's quite a big high resolution image it we're rendering to so I'll change that to 640 by 480 but I will up the size to 100% uh, and if I render that uh, it's 
slightly alter the proportion the portion of the image that we're seeing as the background but we still need to zoom out quite a bit how do we zoom out well if you go to the texture button but as I do that I've gone into the texture for the cube so I need to go to the world first and then go to the texture button I didn't give the texture a very meaningful name I'll, I'll do that now TXR WLD texture for the world and the settings we need to change to zoom out are in mapping and it's the size settings here the size of the X and the Y um, it's handy to see the preview as you alter these so I'm going to close that up so that I can alter now you might think make X smaller you would see more of the picture but if you look at the preview as I make X smaller uh, the background image actually zooms in and I want to zoom out uh, to render F12 is the shortcut key for that and I need to zoom out so I need to go greater than 1 so now if I press F12 in the X direction we're getting a lot more of the image in now uh, I haven't altered Y so it's uh, horribly stretched so if I increase Y and press F12 we're starting to get a lot more of the image in now if there's a scientific method there may be uh, or you can just do it by trial and error keep altering the sizes and pressing F12 I found that uh, 3 as the size for Y and 2 as the size for X gave uh, most of the image without repeating. If you zoom out too far uh, the image will start to repeat. Um, the aspect ratio for the original photograph was three wide by two tall whether that's uh, in, indicated there or just coincidence I'm not sure. Okay that's the end of the tutorial um, I put the final file at my website freemovies.co.uk the Blender channel there thanks for watching and goodbye